Okay, we are back playing Tectonica, the game I cannot pronounce, and we've got some stuff to do. So, um, I've got to go and explore this region and see what is there. So, I'm going to take some supplies with me before I go. So, hopefully I've got some nice stacks of smelted stuff in here now. I've not got a huge amount. I've got 26 there. Okay, that's not really a huge amount, is it? Um, have I got any more to stock up on it? It should all be automated. I mean, I think it is automated. That's not really... I think we're, I think we're all jammed up. But they should be... They should still keep on doing it. Right, how much stuff have I actually got? Let me look at my inventory. So, I have got 311 ingots. I'm going to try and get an even 500 of those, and that will keep me going. We'll collect those, then we'll uh, set off. Because I do actually know it, 500 is what I need, because I did actually play this today for about 10 minutes, and I, uh, yeah, I might have accidentally forgot to record it. Okay, before I go off wandering and seeing what's at the end of this thing, the uh, we're doing quite well the amount we've actually got now. So I've got 530 copper, 440 iron. So we need a little bit more. So I'll just show you my setup. I don't know if this is a good way of setting it up, but this is the way I've done it. So we've got a drill on this one. I've only got uh, two drills on this one, but I've only got two smelters. So I've got a drill feeding into the conveyor belt here and then that is going straight into the smelter. And then from the smelter, we are going down a conveyor belt into the storage container. So, and that's where we can grab our copper there. So I've been, been feeding this with mainly these things like these things, gathering a load of this. Yeah, and then just keeping these fed seems to be these can store quite a lot of um copper so as long well the ore so as long as you've got a little bit of fuel they will still keep providing the ore once they've uh, run out so that that'll be enough for another you know 50 units i think it's more than one one cycle is about two lumps of ore so as you can see that is all filling in there lovely and then over here hopefully we've got enough copper now uh, iron because iron is over here. So I've done this on a bit of a grander scale. So this is a 3-1. Now, I I'm not too happy with the placement. The way I've got it is I've got three units doing onto the one conveyor. And then we've got the first smelter taking that point. The second one taken at that point, And then the last one at the end. Actually, this one here. I don't need this one anymore. That's redundant. I'll take that one off. So the way this works... This, let me... Go back to that mode. No, get, get, get. I don't want to be in a raise mode. Yeah, so this one will come along and grab a piece there and put it in. And then that gives the other two a chance to then grab some stuff then. So sometimes it gets to a point where it's like, I've not got any ore, but mainly it seems to work. And then these are all feeding around here. So that takes the iron and gets out the back. Same there and the same there. These are then all feeding into this, which is spitting out my lovely units of iron, which is excellent because now I have 400, no, 502. So I've got full stacks. So let's go and explore. Right. So I need me, I need me mole now. Let me get me mole out. And it's still, my mole is still on this second one. Do not know how to get to that. So we are going to get to this new area now. Where is it? It's over this way. So let's follow the river. And then we're gonna to get to a point like here. And we're just gonna drill. So it's like, it's a weird way of drilling this, yeah? The outline there is where we're gonna be sort of drilling, so. And you have a heat radius as well, so. You can stand back here like this. And then just do it for a good few goes, but then if you get to a certain rate like that, you can't do it anymore. So I think you're best standing in a space, doing two, then moving forward. And that's how we're gonna progress. So be right back when something exciting happens. I never got the chance to thank you for getting Okay, that I'll let you hear the dialogue. I appreciate it. At the time, it seemed like the best thing to do was focus on work and not get caught up in thinking about anything else. 
I've tried to stay sharp for both of us, but now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it. I was terrified. It'll be good to see some friendly faces. And a few thousand twinkling lights. I'm sure you've got people there too. So, that scientist or whoever it is downloaded themselves onto that spark thing. And apparently where we're going, there's going to be thousands of people waiting for us. The soil and stuff's all changed, look. I... Okay, we're through. A factory the size of a Whoa. Size of here. What's going on? It was right here. I know it was. Okay, do I need to... Have I dug too low? Let's see if I can dig myself out. I can't... I can't dig there. How do I get, actually dig? Higher up. Let's uh, let's try and dig a little bit higher up there. Okay, I think I need to dig higher to get out of here. So let's try and dig our way up, up and out. Okay, is that not? Yay! We're finally out. Okay, so this is the area we're in. Look. So, you can see, we're in a massive big watery wet. There's loads of new stuff for me to scan and things to gather. I've got loads of plant matter. Okay, we can scan all these. Lily, various li types of lily. And as you can see, we've got a massive new base here now. Let's go and scan all of this. I think we get like uh, research points or something for scanning these. Look at these ones. What are they? Can I scan that? Or have I already scanned it? I've already scanned it, I guess. Okay, so this is... This is where we were looking for. So, we've got a... Thing to scan there. Ooh, the mole flatten ability is now all available in the tech tree. Okay, let's interact with the uh, this. So this needs repairing. So these are our new quests up here now. So the first one is to put 500 ingots and 500 copper, which sort of a bit of a cheat. I knew I had to do this already, but we're gonna repair this. Let's see what happens. This terminal is trying to reach out to a hundred facilities that might not exist anymore. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Okay, that sounds that the sounds good. Out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for so the. Looks like we've got loads to do. I will ask you to do it for that. <laughs> Look at all the stuff we've got to make. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives. Okay, what's the all the stuff in here? Of finding them will be. Um, power floor, stairs, core composer. And let's get to work. Let's grab it all. I don't know what any of that even does. This first signal by building power floors looks simple enough. I'm sure it won't be that many. Okay, so we're gonna make power floors. A hundred. Ooh. New technologies and recommended tasks. Got loads to do. So decipher. Put those crank generators and power floors. Okay. Breaker. To make plant matter frames, you'll need planters and threshers. And they only run on electricity. Oh, we've got loads to do. After you grow and thresh kindle vine, you'll need to thresh the kindle vine stems it produces a second time. Ah, uh, yes. Plant matter fiber. And then you can either craft the plant matter frames by hand or build an assembler to do it for you. Wow, this is stress. really overloading me. And that's a lot of new tech to activate. So if you haven't built a core composer yet, what's a core composer? Time. Now that you've got a core composer. All you need is a big enough power floor and a few crank jets. Wait a minute. What? It's a core composer. What? Picked apart the chest. Dump cores into it and never worry about placing them one at a time again. Okay. Inbound. Core composer. Supply with research cores via belts and. Okay, so that's constant research. We have to build. We have to build a research. Wait a minute. So we have to build them them purple research things and feed them into a core composer. Okay. It also says. Non-priority tasks will no longer be a Okay, so we need to press J. So these are all the tasks. Wow. I've got so many tasks to do. Oh, this is ridiculous. And we've also got a log. Bio -bricks breaker. 
They'll burn a lot longer than plant matter. Oh, okay, bio bricks. So probably want to set up a production line <gasps> and feed them directly into your Yes. Machine. Long inserters might be your friends on that one. Oh, that's what we need. I need to do bio bricks. I've also got L. This is the log. Okay, build. Okay, try building a storage container. Connects. So maybe we could like build f like a furnace to produce the the um the fuel. Put all that in the storage thing, and then do that on the grid, so I don't have to do any of this. Um, I did see something flashing over here as well, so let's go and see what this is. Something over here. Yeah, what's this? What are you? Do you need me to scan you? Okay, an assembler. Okay, that's an assembler. And that's a long inserter. So I need two of those. I need to find another inserter. I need to find myself an assembler. Okay, something flashing all the way over here. I think I've scanned all this already, so we're not no point scanning it again. Ooh, now what's that? Is that the same? Is that still the steel? Task inbound. Assembler. Power with electricity to produce items in multiple okay. quantities. So that's one can make stuff with that. In other words, even though you can handcraft anything. Assemblers will make two of them. So that's gonna help me, isn't it? Loads. Portable tool to make one. There's loads of stuff for me to explore. What's all this? Assemblers, but nobody could ever build another you. Okay, you're so kind. Okay, that's a load of copper there. Um. Okay, what's this? Another area. Okay, I played Minecraft and that, and you you always followed the torches, because you get lost otherwise. Um, just seems to be another big load of copper. Oh, I can scan those. What are they? Storm drops. Um, is this back the way I came? I think this is quite clearly back the way. <laughs> That's back the way I came. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Wait a minute. Some of them I could scan then. These things. What are they? Wisp tail. Okay, so that's so we came in over there, didn't we? So I can sort of see stuff on the map at the top right, but still, still needs exploration. Now, did we come down here? Okay, maybe maybe we have to dig through there. That leads somewhere. Um, that's where we dug in. <laughs> yeah, that hole that we fell in. Yeah, we need to. We need to unlock the techers to uh, sort that out. Let's go over this way. This is new. You can see it filling out on the map. Okay, massive big area full of stuff. Um, okay, this looks man-made. Let's go through here. What is this? Okay, is it more copper? Okay, that's new. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Lift. Okay, let's scan these power cells. Oh. Ooh. No contents detected. Zeno. Okay. Now, if you've ever seen the film Aliens, Zeno is alien. So it's a that's, that's containers to store alien samples in. Doesn't necessarily mean the alien eggs, but I do not like the sound of that. This looks like a standard field setup for drilling a new shaft, but there are it's two tiny, problems. isn't it? The first problem is that we're at the end of the line. The only thing below here is the Ooh, core, and this more shaft stuff to scan. Like it was cut large enough for four drills. The second problem is that nobody asked me first. That's a much bigger. Problem. Okay, so but whatever uh, they were up to here was, it's, was sparked like a, the owner of, the, of this place. They seemed to know everything that was going on. Very dangerous. Gotta scan that. Ooh, what's that? Suit speed three unlocked. Are these just, are these just standard drills? So we get all components from scanning these. So it's well worth scanning them. Uh, what's this thing hanging up as well? I I think it's just a standard lift, not a, st uh, a standard drill. I think. Okay, this all looks like a bit of a. 
What are those things? I don't think they're anything. I think they're just plants. I'm just wondering what else there is. Because look, there's... Is that where we came through? I think that's where we came through, isn't it? Although, waterfalls and games always have secrets, don't they? So let's get up here. Are we going to find anything exciting up here? Oh, come on. There's not a treasure chest or something. Can't see anything exciting. I can, oh, look at that. These have got collision. I can climb on them. That is cool. Anyway, we've got loads to be getting on with them. I've got to figure out all that production. So I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of running back and forth with collecting resources to get all this stuff built. And we need to we need to figure out all the stuff we can build now. Build now because I'm going to have loads of stuff to build. I think I'm going to have to like unlock a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so I think we'll we'll do that in the next video. I'll see what on the I actually need to unlock. Anyway, that is it for now. This is Tectonica. I'm Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. See you next time.